North Street School family. Today is Friday, May 29th, 2020, the last school day for the month of May in the year 2020. So let's make it the best one yet for this month. Hope everyone is doing well. I hope you have a fantastic Friday and an even better weekend, and we will see you in June. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. The vision for North Street School is to prepare students for today and tomorrow by creating more hands-on learning experiences. By respecting others' differences, we can create a better school and community for all people. And now to the kitchen to see what's for lunch. Hey, North Street, back on the grill again, and this is what we have coming up for lunch. We have a Brussels sprout salad with chicken that was marinated in lemon and herbs. Enjoy. Mrs. Ed's field trip Friday is here. Let's see what Mr. and Mrs. Ed are up to. We're going to start right here in Geneva, New York, 14456. Mrs. Ed is down at the State Park, and I'm directly across from the Spray Playground. So hopefully you all know where that is. And you see, I got my bike with me today. So I'm going to do the canal trail. It's a really flat course, and I thought, what a great way to get exercise. So we're starting right here in our hometown, Geneva. Mr. Ed's taping me. So I'm going to ride my bike a little ways onto the trail. Mr. Ed will get a little footage of it and make it a great day, North Street. Have a great weekend. I love yous and I miss yous. So here I go, the canal trail. make it a fun family field trip. You're gonna see cool stuff. Take pictures and videos, send them to myself or Mr. Barry for the North Street announcements. Alrighty then, have a great bike ride, safe travels, wear your helmets, bye bye. Boys and girls, it's Mrs. Ed back here at 14456, the shore of Seneca Lake. Field Trip Friday, part two. We've got some kite surfers that are about to go off. So I thought you would enjoy that on a nice day. Come check out the kite surfers. So I'm gonna show you up there. Yeah, these wind surfers, way cool. There's one out, there he goes. How cool is that? So TGIF, come check them out. Make it a great day, North Street. Woohoo! Those windsurfers were pretty awesome. I don't know how they do it, but I would, I would last five seconds. You use wind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That bike ride was pretty cool too. I, we need to get some bikes, Mr. Barry. Agreed. Yeah. North Street students dominated this shortened school week. Here they are.
Mrs. Mineri and myself are excited to announce that the NSS Talent Show will go on. And although we can't do it at school, we will post and host the Talent Show online. If you would like to participate, please practice your talent and send a video of the final performance to Mrs. Mineri at pmineri at genevacsd.org by Wednesday, June 10th. Important to note that this year's talent show is open to all NSS students in grades two through five. You can do a solo act, you can do a group act with people in your family, include pets if they have talents as well. Um, you can showcase any talents that can range from musical instruments to singing, dancing, artwork, joke telling, poetry, doing flips, karate, it is your choice. If you still have any questions pertaining to this glorious event, please send them my way at uh, vberry at Geneva CSD or pass them along to Mrs. Mineri at T. Mineri at Geneva CSD. And now we have the Friday's version, woo woo Friday, of hashtag Ask the Berries. Happy Friday, NSS. And here is today's edition of Hashtag Ask the Berries. Yeah. As always, two solid questions coming up from him for you. And maybe from you if you're one of the two. Question one. All you bookworms, be aware. Isabella wants to know what's your favorite book? What's your favorite book? Let me go first. Take it away, Mrs. Barry. Okay. Oh, well, that's a very hard question, obviously, because I'm a reading teacher. And I'm, but I'm going to go with one of my favorites that um, it could be, I guess it could be an adult book or a children's book, but it's called The Mysteries of Harris Burdick. Yes. And it is a kind of a collection of pictures of that this guy named Harris Burdick drew and then he mysteriously disappeared. So they don't know like what stories go with the pictures or whatever. So it's kind of really interesting. It's real a great book to kind of draw inferences and kind of, you know, think about what the pictures would be. So love it. It's a great book. So good. I was struggling with this as well, mm -hmm. not being a reading teacher. <laughs> um, but uh, I was in my head, I was thinking of like where the wild things are and yeah. um, the giver, right? Um, but, you know, I am a fan of uh, historical nonfiction and I, I enjoyed Theodore Rex. Um, but I, I, think, I think my favorite book that I enjoyed would be Band of Brothers. Uh, it's kind of an adultish book. It's it's basically about um, this regiment in World War II, and, and all the the struggles and triumphs uh, that they had to uh, endure. So yeah, I would. I mean, all those books that I just listed are definitely among the favorites. So hard to pick one, right? It's, yeah. It's your favorite song. What's your? Uh, but I, if I had to choose one, I will. I would go with Band of Brothers. All right. That's a good choice. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you very much for that question, Isabella. Our second question comes from Tucker. And Tucker wants to know, what is your favorite pizza topping? So fun fact, my first job ever was at a pizzeria, a little, little pizzeria in Arcade, New York called Marco's Pizzeria. And I did pretty much everything from washing dishes to uh, cooking chicken wings to making and baking pizzas to delivery and you know one of my favorite pizzas that i ever made was a peanut butter and jelly pizza which was just out of this world it was basically like a hot pb and j but i would think i think i am thinking now all right my favorite pizza topping would have to be mushrooms I'm just i love it you know raw mushrooms yeah they're okay but cooked mushrooms on a pizza ah delicious Mrs. Barry, what's your favorite? I would have to go with, um, I had to think about this one too. 
and um, I, my final decision was goat cheese on pizza. Now I like goat cheese on salads, but when you have worm goat cheese with, you know, on a pizza, yeah, it's really good. So if you like cheese, you should try goat cheese on a pizza. It's really good. I was Runner up was bacon. Oh, bacon. Yeah, it's bacon. Yeah. Good. I was worried yeah. you were going to say anchovies. No nope. popular pick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, that wraps up our final and second question. Thank you, Tucker, for that wonderful delicious question and that is all we have for this edition of hashtag ask the berries have a great weekend everyone yes please do if you didn't see your question answer today don't fear on the next edition of hashtag ask the berries your question might be answered keep sending questions to myself Email is vberry at genevacsd.org or send those questions to me via talking points. Keep them coming. Don't forget, NASA space launch is tomorrow at 3.22 p.m. on the YouTube channel. Now, for today's website of the day is another YouTube channel. This one is called Little Gym UK. It's kind of cool. So it features fun exercises you can do at home. And the exercises are some things that you can do like in a gymnastic gym, but like you can do it on your couch and they show you things to do, like how to do it from home. It's pretty awesome. And they have different videos that range for age groups from babies all the way to 12 years old. So it's pretty awesome. If you have to stay inside due to a rainy day, make your home your own gym space to stay active. Make sure you tune in every weekday morning at 9 a.m. to watch some fun, uplifting news. That's all the announcements for this week. I'm Mrs. Barry. And I'm Mr. Barry. Make it a great, great day. day.